lot of people uh, message me, ask me, and they want to know um, who powder coats the lips of the weld wheels that are on my car and have been on my previous cars. And my answer to them is, I don't have them powder coated, I paint them. And then they're like, well, what do you mean you paint them? I'm like, I literally rattle can them and they hold up, they look great. No one knows that they're rattle canned. But what I'm gonna do for all of you out there is do a how-to video on how to make your weld wheels look like they were powder coated, gloss black, flat black, whatever color you wanna do them. I'm gonna give you a step-to-step -step, uh, process on how to do them and do them right so you can drive on them, wash them, clean them, spray detail them, wax them, however you wanna take care of your wheels, it'll hold up. Here are the front wheels on my C7. These have been done for, I wanna say about six months now. Um, I wash the car regularly, uh, you know, race it. Um, they get used. Um, so I also have a brand new pair of rear wheels for my Camaro and those are the wheels we're actually going to uh, paint. So here are the ones on the Corvette. As you can see, they look perfect. We'll go over here to the back wheels. I went ahead and did the backs. Turned out great. So we're gonna go inside and we're gonna go ahead and start doing the rear wheels on the Camaro. Okay, so first off, what we gotta do is, I got, I'm gonna show you all the products that you're gonna need to buy um, to get your wheels painted and do them correctly um, in a, uh, an efficient way. Uh, you don't have to spend a lot of money is what I'm trying to tell you. And this way, you're gonna get a good finish on your wheels um, without having to wait for a powder coater to get them done, without having to dismount your tires, um, and do it yourself in your garage and save you at least a couple hundred dollars. So here are the products that I use whenever I do the wheels. Get this at any auto parts store. It's a duplicolor prep spray. Um, you're gonna wanna clean the wheel really well with this stuff. You just spray it on there. It will not tarnish the, the finish of the actual anodized part of the wheel if they come with the centers black. It is, it is okay to use. It's also great to use on getting rubber, tar, or anything off your car. So um, I use it all the time for stuff like that. We're gonna go over here to the adhesion promoter. Um, this will make the paint stick to the wheel a lot better and keep it from flaking off. Um, it gives the paint a good surface to stick to, especially like on a slick metal surface. Um, so definitely get this stuff. It's called Bulldog Adhesion Promoter. You can buy it at most auto parts stores in the paint section. Now we'll move over here. This stuff is going to be a little harder to get. Um, I actually have an automotive paint store by my house um, here in Kansas City, uh, Auto Color. I go in there and I tell them that I would like some high gloss black paint in an aerosol, aerosol can and here's the part where a lot of paint stores are going to look at you funny. Tell them you want a little bit of extra hardener in the paint and uh, they're going to be like, well, we can't do it. Ask them if they can. Um, tell them that you are going to use the paint immediately after using it because what they'll do is say, well, the can's going to go bad after a day. You're going to have to use it. Let me tell you, this can is about a week old. It's still perfectly fine. The paint hasn't hardened up inside of it. But I have seen some of my cans that I've gotten over the years, after about a month or so of sitting out in the garage, they do harden up. And how you can tell is you won't be able to hear the mixer ball inside the can. So you buy a can of that, you'll probably need one to two cans, depending on how many coats you want to use. Um, I usually do about four coats of paint until I get a nice, good shiny surface. Um, so yeah, go to your auto paint store. You want gloss black, satin black, flat black, whatever color you want, but tell them you want hardener in the paint. That makes the paint have a really good hard surface for rock chips and all that stuff. So that is the paint you'll use. It is also has, it's a single stage paint, so you won't need to clear or anything after you use that. Next over here are prep items that we also use. I use a Scotch-Brite pad. You can buy at any auto parts store. I scuff the wheels up with that. And then on tape, I use this real thin tape to go around the wheel, getting all the hard spots um, 
and then I go over it with the thicker tape um, to finish covering all the spots on the wheel you do not want to paint, like the center. Great, so now we are going to uh, go over here and check out the wheels on what we'll be painting today. All right, here are my new weld wheels that I got for the Camaro. These are rear wheels. They are a five and a half inch backspace uh, weld wheel. Um, what we're gonna do is, for any of you guys with beadlocks, um, we're gonna go ahead and remove this beadlock ring. Take the ring off, we do not need to take the tire off. And then what we're gonna do is use that real thin tape I was showing you guys. We're gonna tape around the rim here where the center of the wheel meets the outer rim. Tape that all up, get the whole center completely taped. And then from there, we'll scotch bright it, uh, we'll prep it, and then we'll start laying down some paint. All right, uh, we got the wheel off the car and we're going, I already went ahead and took off the beadlock ring. So right now the wheel is ready to uh, prep for paint. Go ahead and start taping around the perimeter of the part that I do not want painted. Uh, weld makes it real easy. They actually, this center is a different piece of the wheel. So there's a fine line around here with a groove that I can tape around. Um, so we're gonna go do that. All right, so as you guys can see, I used this real thin tape here, went around the part of the wheel that I want taped off. That gives us a nice surface that we can go around the wheel with the thicker tape, being that we use this real thin tape to get all the detailed turns and curves and everything else. This tape works a lot better when you're actually trying to tape a line or anything else so definitely I prefer getting this tape to start off with instead of going right with the thick tape to try to tape off the wheel although you can use this tape if you would like so now we're gonna get the rest of the wheel taped up and then we'll be on our way to start scotch bright in the wheel all right now we got the wheel taped up the part that we do not want painted it's ready to go now we can get to using the scotch bright pad on the polished part of the wheel we're gonna go ahead, just lightly scuff up the wheel. It'll scuff up very fast. So we have our uh, prep spray here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just clean the wheel up. As you can see, we got the wheel scotch brighted. It, it's got a real dull finish to it now. Um, makes the paint a little easier to tack onto it. So we're gonna go ahead and clean the wheel and then we'll be ready for our adhesion promoter. All right, we got the wheel cleaned up with the prep spray. Make sure you get in the grooves really good, uh, especially for the guys with beadlocks. Make sure you get those all cleaned out. And now we are ready to actually spray some uh, adhesion promoter, and then we'll be ready for paint. Right, I just did a light coat of our Bulldog adhesion promoter around the wheel. You don't want to get too carried away with it. Just spray a real nice light dusting across the surface of the wheel that you're going to paint. Allow that about 15 minutes to dry and then go back and make sure it's uh, got a nice tacky surface. We got a nice coat of adhesive on the wheel. We are now ready to start spraying the black paint. This is a uh, single stage gloss black paint. I bought an auto part paint store auto paint store um, it does have a little bit of extra hardener in there which you can see um, you should be able to get this at any automotive paint store uh, the trick is spray one coat really really light um, don't overdo it the first coat don't try to coat everything black just spray a nice light coat over it give it a minute or two and then start just slowly going over it over and over and over again until the wheel has a real nice gloss black coating of paint on it. Um, you're gonna wanna really make sure you get, in the beadlock wheels, you're gonna really wanna make sure you get the paint uh, below those threaded surfaces. Uh, if you don't have a beadlock wheel, it's very easy. Um, uh, but yeah, just don't get carried away. Be patient with the paint. It will set in and it will start to look really nice. So we're gonna go ahead and put a couple coats of paint and we'll see how it looks when we're done. All right, the wheels are done. Um, I put about four coats of paint on them. We're going to uh, 
let them dry here for a little bit. I actually use uh, one of these propane heaters in the garage to kind of make things warm in here. I, I do live in Missouri. It's about 50 degrees outside right now, maybe 45, but uh, keeps the garage nice and warm inside here. Keeps the paint nice and uh, makes it cure a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel off the tape. Um, we'll see what the wheels look like. All right, here's what the wheels, uh, how they turned out. They look awesome. Uh, we'll let this paint dry for a little bit. We'll go ahead and put the B-locked ring on there and put it on the car so you guys can see what the finished project completely looks like. All right, we got our wheel finished up. As you can see, it looks a lot better now. Paint went on good. And uh, I think uh, she'll hold up good over the years. Get that back in some light there. We'll get these on the car. Be ready to rock and roll. So yeah, thanks guys for uh, watching the how-to video on how um, I myself have been painting these wheels for the last few years. And uh, you can also use the same technique for painting other times, other types of wheels for your car. Um, I can't say it's better than powder coat, but from my personal experiences, it holds up pretty dang well. It doesn't rock chip real easy. Um, if you do happen to get rock chips on your wheels, just go get some gloss black touch up paint from your auto parts store, touch them up, just kind of keep up with the maintenance on them. But uh, saves you a lot of money, wheels still look good, and I guarantee you no one is going to be able to tell that you painted them yourself instead of just having them professionally powder coated. That's it, thanks guys. So I, I just wanted to share with you, um, if you're doing other wheels and not just weld wheels, that's just the type that I get asked the questions most about. Um, I have done some other wheels before. These are actually my spare 18 inch wheels for the back of my Corvette. I did these a couple years ago. Um, as you can see, uh, the paint turned out awesome on these. Um, these have, been daily driven on everything so these were just a gray set of c5 z06 wheels that i did the same steps that we did on the weld wheels today and uh as you can see the paints held up awesome on them they look great they look like they were professionally powder coated um or even bought that way so that's another style of wheel Hope you guys uh, enjoy the video and uh, good luck on painting your own stuff. Also subscribe to my YouTube page. I'm going to be doing how-to videos on a bunch more different things. Um, and then I'll also be doing some crazy stuff in the Corvette and the Camaro here uh, once the weather starts getting a little warmer. And we start going to some streetcar takeover events. Uh, me and my buddy uh, Cletus, we tend to get into some pretty uh, crazy situations. So definitely hit the subscribe button and there will be a lot more videos to come.